Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're still out on Lake Huron flying. Hey, it's been a beautiful October here in Michigan, so we take what we can get. It, you know, it's uh, like mid-October, getting close to mid-October. It's almost 80 degrees out here on the lake. People are down there swimming. You know, we got geese here confused whether to go north or south. I don't know if it's climate change or whatever, but we're taking advantage of it and we're going to go flying. So, uh, not a lot of stuff big happening. Um, I have, uh, I want to just uh, double check Boat Nerd again. I'm sorry if I've messed with. Uh... So, what I do is I check Boat Nerd and see. So, no, unfortunately, no ships coming up. There's uh, some way down in the river down there. So, we're just going to do some flying today. So, uh, again, beautiful scenery. We've got sailboats out there. I don't know if you guys can see them on the hat cam because of the big lens. Got a little bit of power boating out there, so we're going to go ahead and just take this guy up. And we're going to do some surveying. Maybe we'll give Norbert a yaw, yaw party. We haven't given Norbert a yaw party in a while. Haven't heard from you in a while, Norbert. You gotta stop watching on that big screen. Get back to the old desktop or laptop. So I'm going to start video recording. We got the Polar Pro filter on there. So, uh, you know, nice colors off the water today. Maybe a little shaky, but that's okay. Need to kind of move this out of the way. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to take this guy out. And you see the boat out there. Yeah, maybe we'll chase the boat for a while. Maybe that was a bad idea. Let's go back this way. That boat's a ways out there. So let's just go out there and just kind of let's see. Again, just rolling out the water. And, uh, yeah, I'm about uh, six, seven feet above the water. And uh, I'm going to sit over here in the shade. I can probably see everything a little bit better as I'm headed out that way. And this is just a one big lake, folks. I mean, this is one huge body of water. Um, there's a set of shipping buoys out there. I don't know if I could make it out to those guys. Uh, I don't know if I can find them in my screen to kind of figure out where they are. Um, I'm going to yaw back this way. Maybe if I yaw back that way a little bit. Okay, we're going to keep going out there. We're going to we're going to go for a ways. We're going to, I don't want to say do a distance test, but we're going to push her out there a little bit. And I need to go up a little bit. I'm falling asleep at the helm here, and I'm starting to drop, get pretty darn close to that water, folks. So about eight feet up off the water. And just kind of watching nobody's coming across because I can see in front of me but not beside me. So, you know, if, uh, I know in general where I'm at with the sailboats coming out there, um, I don't want it to run into me because I'm only a couple feet off the water. And I keep pushing it up, getting a little bit more. So I'm getting a large wind velocity condition again. That's kind of interesting. So I'm up there about out there about a thousand feet. I'm gonna take it up a bit. Uh, just making sure everything around me is clear. Still showing the large wind velocity warning. It's rather interesting. So, yeah, party, Norbert. We'll do a quick one. Woohoo! So let's do a slower one. Let's go back and uh, so we've lost the uh, <clears throat> wind warning. That's good. So there's the blue water bridge. You can't see it from where I'm at here on the ground down here, but you can see it definitely on the video. And so uh, it's sitting out there. We're now up about 125 feet and just kind of looking around out there. So. Uh, just kind of checking everything out, sky. Let's uh, let's take her up to about 200 feet and see what kind of view I get. So I'm now up there about 200 feet. We have a nice view of the bridge. We're still quite a ways from the bridge uh, because down that way is where I fly at that other beach. And so this one was kind of quiet here today, so I decided to choose this one. Um, because it's bigger and 
So that's Canada out there that we're looking at as we pan around and then that's just big open water and you can kind of see all the sailboats and everything out there just kind of cruising along. And you can kind of see the clouds out there in the distance. Look at those clouds. It's just beautiful. Just sitting up there in the sky. I'm not sure. I think I'm gimbaled all the way up. So let's gimbal down. That's what the water looks like beneath us. Nice kind of a little bit of, I don't know if you call that turquoise or what that green color is. So uh, let's try to gimbal up a little bit. But look, at you can kind of see the shelf between the sandbars and where the water is. We're hitting another wind warning again. I'm a little bit surprised because down here where I'm at on the beach, it's a little bit windy, but not bad at all. So I'm a little bit surprised. So I'm just kind of watching it. Last time I had this, I was kind of blown quite a bit off. And we see some of the sailboats and stuff out there. And if we just kind of yaw around, we're looking up lake. So we're looking quite a ways up lake from 200 feet. You kind of notice I'm drifting a little bit with that large wind warning, so I'm not moving the sticks, but you can see me kind of drifting a little bit, the copter drifting, that is. So um, just have to be a little bit careful with that. So, because I am out there about a thousand feet, so uh, I do want to give myself enough time and room to get back in. So, again, you can see that sandbar, you can see the mouth, so we must be back up here a ways because you can see the, the mouth of the, the Black River Spillway where I also fly back up that way towards the cemetery. And then if you see all this, this is back by approximately where I'm at. And so back this way. So I'm going to start flying it back at about this altitude and just get some video of it flying back towards me. I'm a little bit nervous with that large wind warning. That's usually not a very good thing. So uh, I've had strange things happen to the spark uh, with that. And being up there a couple hundred feet and out there about a thousand feet or so, uh, that could be a little bit problematic. So I just want to be kind of careful. And I want to see that I'm kind of bringing it back in towards me. I think I'm somewhere around here. So if I get it back in around 500 feet, I'll feel a little bit more comfortable because I'm coming down a little bit on low battery. And so let's spin it around. Let's do a little bit more looking. Notice it's shaking a little bit. So there's that spillway a little bit better. Let's see if we can kind of gimbal up a little bit. And let's spin it back around, look out lake. And there we are, kind of going back around, and we should be coming back around to the Blue Water Bridge, and there's the Blue Water Bridge. So with that being said, I mean, it's just a great flying day out here on the lake, nothing A-specific. We are getting that large wind warning again, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down. I'm coming up a little bit on low battery. I want to get it down around 100 feet or so, and then I'm going to issue a return to home. So as I just kind of pull it down a little bit, it's just a beautiful day out here, folks. Just a beautiful day. And we're coming down slow. It comes down slow, so... Yeah, we're now about a buck and a half, so I'm going to get down to about 100 and then... Hit the return to home button because she's coming down on power. I don't like to push it too much on power over the lake because uh, I've had a couple close calls actually uh, over the lake. So I'm down pretty pretty close to 100. Let's do uh, another quick little yaw party around here, see what's happening. And then we'll plug the return to home. It's beautiful sailboats out there. Just a beautiful day to be a, be a sailboater out there. Uh, again, oh, there's there's one we were looking at. Let's gimbal down on him. Whoops. Get a nice view of him. The water is, is, is nice and calm. Can't really complain about the water. So I'm getting ready to head to low battery. So I'm going to spin this guy back around. You can see the sandbars again. 
and I think I'm right about in here so uh, but I'm gonna issue return to home just make it easy we're in low battery so I'm gonna use lazy man's way back just hit return to home I tell you what I love return to home so just you know again you don't have to worry about do I end up over here do I end up over there I end up you know I'm gonna end up right up here I'm gonna come right down here I hope and so I can hear it above me and sure enough there it is coming down I tell you what I, I love this I tell you this spark has been you know one of the best copters I've, I've purchased and at 700 bucks I really think this is a hugely reasonable price for such a copter you know and again you know I'm flying it over the lake I'm taking risks with it you know the Phantom 3 which I also do that you know it's about 300 bucks 400 bucks it's a little bit cheaper but I tell you what this guy is just so easy is to grab and go I'm gonna back this guy up a little bit so he is just so easy from grab and grow so he's now coming down just kind of settling in there and I'm just gonna put her on the ground and there we go so another great flight of the spark out over the water oh I want to save the video make sure I do that um, oh and just bend over to get this guy and so just excellent flight over the water beautiful October day hopefully you guys are having great October days too and uh, hey let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch and we'll see you guys all in the next video cheers